We may be coming to the end of January, but New Year's resolutions are still in full swing. Lifting weights, building muscles, sweating off the pounds, getting that heart pumping, getting active. And after your workout, you need some protein to help replenish those muscles and repair them. But if you're taking too much protein, can it harm you? Yes, you can have too much protein. Protein does contribute to calories, and if we get too many calories in any way, we are going to gain weight. There have been a few articles out there lately saying that if you're trying to lose weight, watch your protein intake, because if you take too much, your body will store it as fat. But does that mean you cut down on it? Protein is necessary for everybody, uh, and my opinion is that you should try to incorporate it as much as you possibly can in your diet whether it be you know in breakfasts and snacks you want to make sure that you're always getting some source of protein. Catherine Ahokas is a sports nutrition professor at the Pacific Institute for Sport Excellence at Camosun College. She says how much protein you take in depends on your body weight, type, height and body mass index. It can be as simple as getting a small serving size with every meal and then you're most likely covered for the day. There's there's really no benefit in loading in the protein for someone who doesn't work out all that often. But if you are an active person, it's important to get enough to help repair muscles. A protein shake is an easy way to get it, or lean meats, quinoa or nuts. One of my favorites is uh, a Greek, low-fat Greek yogurt. So a serving of this is about three quarters of a cup and it has 16 grams of protein, which is a good serving of protein. If it's after a workout, the optimal time to get the nutrition to your muscles is 20 to 40 minutes. So what everyone needs after a workout is they need essentially two things. So they need glucose because your muscle's primary source of energy is glucose, so much so that they actually store glucose. And you need protein. The reason you need to get the glucose and protein into your body within the 20 to 40 minute time frame is that's when your insulin is elevated. Naturopathic Dr. Shalini Hitkari says it's the hormone that pushes glucose into your muscles. So you want to optimize putting in some, some sugar into your body, some glucose into your body so that you're utilizing that elevated insulin. If you consume glucose and a protein outside of that 20 to 40 minute window, your body's more likely going to store some of that as fat. To find out how much protein you need, consult your healthcare professional. Now, I'm not a huge fan of protein shakes, but if it's in chocolate, maybe I'll like it. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh for The Daily.